Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Cohen and I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome! Today I wanted to talk about a subject that I think people are very confused about. So, hmm, where do I begin with the subject? Well, I know that I have a lot of religious people on my channel. I also have a lot of spiritual people on my channel. Different people believe in different things. I respect everyone's beliefs, whether you believe in God, you don't believe in God, you believe in aliens, you believe in the universe, you're atheist, you're Jewish, you're Christian, you're Catholic. I don't know what. I respect everybody's belief. I do. But what I don't like is people criticizing other people about their beliefs. I was also told... <laughs> It's so funny when strangers tell you what to do. I think it's it's hilarious, but <laughs> it always fascinates me. Like, hi, who are you? Who are you? Do, do I know you? No. Okay, cool. Just, just thought we can clear that up. But it's fascinating to me. Um, in a previous, I don't know, in one of my videos, I was talking about some spiritual stuff and somebody wrote me, don't do it in capital letters. And I was like, excuse me, don't do what? And he's like, don't bring your new age spiritual shit into this. And I'm like, excuse me, sir. Hi, I do not know you. If you don't want to be here, the door is that way. <laughs> Unsubscribe, don't watch. I'm sorry. Like, I am me. And if you don't like it, peace out. Very simple. I'm sorry. I love everybody, but I do not appreciate anybody criticizing my beliefs. You know, I don't. I'm Jewish, Jews don't believe in Jesus. I respect people that believe in Jesus. I would never tell somebody not to believe in Jesus, but at the same time, I wouldn't sit there and criticize them. Everybody believes in what they believe and, you know, I think it's good. Whatever makes your soul happy, I'm down with. So this topic might be sensitive for some, I'm sorry, but I really wanna enlighten you and educate you on this topic because I think that it's very important and it's kind of an epiphany that I had, I don't even know, maybe even a half a year ago. It took me that long <laughs> to realize this. So I wanted to explain to you guys the difference between being religious and spiritual. I know you'd be surprised, but there are two, there, there are two different things. How I like to view it is just like life, there is people that are book smart, and then there's people that are life smart. Anybody can be book smart, right? If they wanted to, they read the freaking book, they do the test and they can pass if they study. Anybody can be book smart, but to be life smart, it's a little bit different. It kind of comes with experience. It comes with knowing it comes with, it's not, you can't really truly teach somebody life smart. They kind of have to live life and experience life and then become life smart. Do you guys like my little mermaid cup? I love it. <laughs> I'm such a kid sometimes. Okay, <laughs> so back to this um, important subject. How I see it is being religious is kind of like being book smart. What is being religious? It's reading the Bible, it's following the laws and the rules and doing, you know, what is written to do, no matter what it is that you believe in, right? Being spiritual though, being spiritual is beyond the text. You can't teach somebody, you can, you can't teach somebody how to be spiritual, but to be a spiritual being, like they're two different things. I want you guys to understand that. I learned this the hard way. I used to believe um, that when I saw somebody who was Jewish and was dressed all religious and I drive on Shabbat on Friday, which you're not supposed to drive on Shabbat, and I'd see them, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm such a bad Jew. And they're like holy for like observing the Shabbos. But that doesn't necessarily make them good people. I don't know who the heck they are. It doesn't make them good people. It doesn't necessarily make them spiritual people. It just makes them religious people that follow the laws of God, right? But reading texts and actually being the text are two separate things. And there's been many times in my life where I was very confused because I'm like, I don't understand why this person's like this. They're really religious. Like, how are they like this? And then I had an epiphany where I was like, whoa, 
Just because somebody is religious doesn't mean that they truly are spiritual. Some people hide behind religion, behind a mask, and they do awful things, but then they pretend like they're religious and they pretend like it's okay because they're a religious person. No. First and foremost, you have to be a good human being. You have to treat others the way you want to be treated. That's more important than anything else in the world. Having respect for mankind, having compassion, operating with your heart and soul. When it comes to humanity, yourself, your loved ones, but also yourself. That's the part that people like skip. They think that they need to be nice to everybody else but themselves. You need to love, love thyself. Really basic, important stuff that people overlook. I like to believe that I am both. I am religious and I am also spiritual. There is mystical, awesome things that I believe in in the mystical world because I've experienced them. They just came to me. I have powers beyond my wildest measures and sometimes they overwhelm me and I don't understand why me, uh, but I'm also really grateful for them. But I also am Jewish and I light candles and I pray and I read the text. But just because I read the text and pray and do those things, it doesn't necessarily make me a spiritual person. Does that kind of make sense? Reading, reading the Bible doesn't necessarily make you a spiritual being. And I want people to understand that our soul is infinite. Some people I've noticed that are religious overlook your soul's capability and ability. Your soul is capable of so freaking much, you guys. You guys, I mean, when you tap into this world, it's not magic. I mean, I call it magical and magic, but your soul, you are capable of insane mystical experiences that are all written in the Bible, by the way, in different formats, okay? Whether it's crystals, whether it's psychic abilities, whether it's supernatural abilities, whatever it is, I'm not saying go and do all these things, but I'm just saying do what your soul leads you to doing. Do what you believe is right for your soul. Everybody has a different journey. Everybody has a different purpose. I don't think it's right to criticize anybody based on their belief. Sometimes people also believe things and don't do things because they're just naive and they're not educated on that subject, but that does not make it okay to criticize others on their spiritual beliefs and practices and rituals. I have mentioned in the past that I've had a lot of very trippy, mystical experiences. I've never done drugs ever, ever. And honestly, when you tap into your soul's desire, like when you tap into your mystical powers, you do not need drugs. What you're capable of doing naturally is so out there that it like blows my mind that people feel like they need to do drugs to tap into that. You're literally, you're perfect. You're perfect. You're an energy machine walking. You're a light walking on earth. And you have supernatural powers and it has nothing to do with religion. It's just your soul. Your soul has mystical powers and God made you this way. He would not make us humans, us souls, beautiful souls and human beings capable of doing these things if they were evil or bad or new age, whatever you want to call it. I understand that the new age world kind of tainted a lot of things. The Illuminati's tainted a lot of things. I've honestly been learning so much about their beliefs. Um, they're fucking nuts. <laughs> I will say that they are really freaking out there. I was, I was yesterday watching videos from David Wilcox talking more deep about why they think that they're, that it's okay to do these things. It's nuts. It's nuts. So one thing that I do not agree with is the Illuminati, evil, ritual, satanic, like ritual world. That is not okay. The rest, everybody operate with love and compassion for other human beings. So it's interesting because me personally, I was brought up Jewish. Um, I was born in Israel, brought up Jewish, and we did like, you know, we did Passover, we did all the holidays, we lit candles on Shabbat, we did the things that you're supposed to do. 
I asked my mom why we do them. She never really had like legit answers for them. And that's when I took my ass to Jerusalem and found out all the answers and the truth to all these questions. But before I really, really, truly understood God, I always believed in him. But when I was, I think, 17 and 18, I started to have mystical supernatural powers that I discovered. And they tripped me out. And I was like, there has to be more to life and to this whole realm than like, that's what made me believe in God. Because I'm like, this, this shit's insane. Um, whether it's manifesting things in a snap of a finger, whether it's being an empathetic person, whether it's predicting and getting visions of people that I love, messages about them before things actually happen. I would get like anxiety and then I would get someone's photo in my head. Um, and then I know that something bad's about to happen. And then I have like this anxiety attack, but I didn't even know what anxiety was at the time. And then they'd call me or I, I call them and then they tell me like really crazy news. And I'm like, oh, what? And this would happen on an everyday base, good or bad. I would think of people that I haven't seen in 10 years and I'd go to the mall and like three minutes later, they'd walk in front of me and I'd be like, what? <laughs> um, that would happen. Literally that, ha that specific thing happened like two weeks in a row. Every single day I would think of somebody that I haven't even thought of since like middle school or since I don't know what, and then they would appear. It, it was nuts. It's insane. Um, I started to get numbers. I started to get visions of numbers. I started to have a, I had manifestation powers were through the roof. I didn't even know what manifestation was like verbally. I didn't know that it was an actual thing. I was just like, I have magic powers and nobody knows. Um, and those are the things that made me want to know God more and made me understand that there's a lot more going on than what we could actually visually see here on earth. And when you understand both worlds, the religious world and the spiritual world, they do go hand in hand. But don't think that because you're religious, you're necessarily spiritual. And don't think because you're necessarily spiritual, you are religious. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're two different things. But I remember I used to go to bookstores, I used to sit in Barnes and Noble, Indian style, on the floor and look up. I would like ditch school to go try to figure out who I was and what is happening to me and what are these freaking powers. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And I would sit and I would try to figure out like, what am I? Who am I? What is this? What are these powers? Like I didn't even know that they had names. And it was crazy too because for example, when I saw I had an ex-boyfriend show me the movie The Secret. And when it was over, I was like, yeah. And he's like, what do you mean, yeah? And I was like, yeah, I, I know all these things. I've been doing them for years. Now I know that they have a name. It's called Law of Attraction and you know manifestation. But, but I, I knew these things. It's kind of cool that now I know that they have a name and that they're a thing. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they were like an official thing. Um, and he was really kind of upset and jealous that he I knew the information before he did and we got into a big fight about it. But when you are present, when you are huh, when you are present, when you're aligned with your soul's purpose, when you are being compassionate, when you're operating from your soul, not your ego, when you truly care about humanity, when you truly care about making a difference, when you truly are present and disconnected from technology and just things and you're more observant, it's when the wild things happen. And you just get downloads from the universe. You do. And as long as you have gratitude through thick and thin, through the bad and good, your life is going to change. And so I just want to spread love, knowledge, power, empowerment, and always uplift your soul. That's always my mission. I know that some of these cabal, deep state, Illuminati's, all these crazy shenanigans are very dark subjects, but they're also really important to cover because only when you see the density of how evil this stuff is, you understand how much you are light. I've mentioned this before, but if I ever had any doubt about myself or people that I know that I thought were bad or maybe not good enough, when I dove into this 
into this realm of madness, I saw that if, if I once thought that the world's this is evil and this is good, I now realize that it's really like this. And if I once believed that I was here on the good versus the evil, somewhere in the, like, probably like a seven or an eight, I don't know, something like that. Now I'm like, huh, honey, I'm over here. I'm over here. There's some dark ass stuff happening here. And honestly, if you're here right now, baby girl, baby boy, you're probably really close to the good light. Does that make sense? So I just wanted to bring that topic up because I don't want anybody to fight in my comments below. I don't want drama. I don't want negativity. I'm not here for that. I want love, beauty, peace, enlightenment. Um, high vibrational frequency thoughts, you guys. The vibrational frequency map that I have mentioned many times in the past, in, this, in, in previous videos, but even prior to talking about this whole subject, that's freaking science, man. That's science, like there's frequencies. We are, we are like spiritual beings. We are atoms, frequencies, vibration, light, stardust. Look it up, it's freaking science. Educate yourself. Just because you're religious doesn't mean that you can't tap into like the science of it. Albert Einstein always said that without science, you don't have religion and without religion, you don't have science and somehow they correlate, they do. Even the spiritual, mystical experiences that you have, there's a scientific, there's a scientific explanation for all of it. Frequencies and vibration, they're real. Everything has energy. Everything is energy. You are energy, I am energy, my freaking chair is energy, my house is energy. Everything has energy. Energy is vibration and frequencies. It's science, you guys. And only when you tap into this world do you truly see your potential and power in this freaking world. And you start to have like out of this freaking world experiences. There's experiences that I've had. I can't even explain the alignment of how insane a lot of my experiences are. They're insane. I mean, I tell my mom and my sister, they're like, you're obviously not human. <laughs> they jokingly call me a witch. They're like, you obviously have, we don't know what you are, but you're just something else. Everything is aligned. We all, in different religions, we call things different things. We have namaste. People are like, oh, that's an Indian thing. Well, actually, there's like a science behind namaste. When you do this position, you guys, this actually um, aligns your brain waves and brings them to balance. And it's also your heart chakra. There's a lot of explanations for everything. And the more you dive deep into this world, the more you see your powers unfold and it's a freaking beautiful world. It really is. I have had such precious, beautiful, mystical experiences. They're, they're magical, they're magic, they're miracles, they're crazy in alignment that literally bring me tears to my eyes of like, of just shock how 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 my house i can write a book from here to san francisco about these crazy experiences that i have and i think the religion is the way to start but the rest you have to let your spirit and your soul guide you there you have to follow your intuition this is not about new age stuff this is about soul stuff it's about soul stuff take thing, take everything with a grain of salt you don't believe it, you don't like it, skip, thank you next. It's totally fine. Just be open to the possibility that anything and everything is possible at this point. If you're watching this channel and you're, you've are you been here on the journey and you've been watching my last few videos, you understand that everything and anything is possible. So be open to the possibility that you don't know it all and that science has a lot to do with this and your soul has a lot to do with this and so does God and so does religion and so much other things have they're all connected all connected like a puzzle piece i love you guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure to check out the merchandise i'm so happy with all the people that bought the merchandise i'm waiting for mine they are all made in america by the way i wanted to throw that out there if you did not know and made sure of that they're all made in the u.s 
and they are having a little bit of delay right now because of the coronavirus, obviously, but be patient, they are coming. Anyways, I love you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Give me your thoughts on whether or not, I don't know, this whole topic. Are you religious? Are you spiritual? Are you both? And what are your thoughts about this subject? Let me know. I love you guys.